we ended up getting to the finals and uh, we missed about half of the first quarter. And it's just one of those things. Like, I can't believe I'm here. And um, I love that fucking arena. It's going to be a shame when they leave it. I'm going to tell Warrior fans right now, enjoy that arena because your next arena is not going to be that loud. The new ones are never that loud because they build in all of those luxury boxes and everything is just so fucking big and far away from the court. Um, but anyway, so we go to the game and um, we're watching the game and it's fucking, you know, it's great through about the first two and a half quarters and then the Warriors just start pulling away. And I got to tell you, as a fan of sport and competition, that Kevin Durant, the allowing Kevin Durant to go to the Warriors was that's out of all those things. LeBron going to Miami, uh, fucking Kevin Garnett and Ray Allen going to the Celtics, Shaq and Phil Jackson going to the Lakers. This one might be the worst one because at least like like Shaq and, and, and Phil Jackson, that was a bad time. But still, you still had like the Spurs. They had Tim Duncan. They had David Robinson. You know, you still had something to compete with. And, um, you know, the Celtics, when we won, we still had to beat the fucking Lakers. And God knows they always had nine million fucking free agents. And even the fucking Heat, that first year, they lost to the Mavericks. But this one, it was just like, I'm trying to think of an analogy to compete. It'd be like if Matt, Magic Johnson joined the, uh, the Celtics. Or Larry Bird joined the Lakers after the 1985 championship when we lost to him in the finals he just joined the fucking lakers um i gotta yeah it just felt it felt fucking dirty when i was watching it going like this just doesn't feel good it just i don't know i was in an nba final game and i was actually bored which is funny because i i thought when i was at home i didn't know what the warrior fans were chanting when they were saying warriors Warriors. I thought they were chanting boring. Boring. I literally thought that that's what they were saying because they were so much. Look at last year's Western Conference Finals. That was fucking unbelievable. That seven game series with the Thunder and the Warriors. And then you look at last year's NBA final it was fucking amazing. Went seven games and was won in the last second by the Cavaliers. It was incredible basketball, incredible level of competition. It was amazing. And then, I don't know. I don't understand how the Chris Paul trade was bad for basketball, but Kevin Durant going to the Warriors. And then just watching them puffing their chests out and punching their fucking chests and, and the crowd going crazy as if they don't realize what they're watching. Like acting as though like, yeah, man, this year's our year. Last year you beat us, but you know what? We dug down deeper. No, you didn't. You didn't. You picked up the best guy that almost fucking beat you last year and added it to your team. It was like, I don't know. Every time they get to within three to five points, which I have to tell you is pretty fucking amazing when you're playing a team. They haven't even lost a game yet. They've lost one game since February. Um, and they were already playing like that before... They had Kevin Durant, so I'm not trying to rain on people's parade here or anything, but uh, I really don't have anything to say about the game other than, I will, for me, I watch sports to watch competition. I don't watch it to watch a layup. Um, I mean, the fact that they have all of those guys and then, then they can rotate them out. And when their LeBron is sitting down, they got another two LeBrons still out there. It's just fucking, I don't know. There was a lot, I don't know. There was a lot of like, I just couldn't believe I didn't hear one Warrior fan address it. You know, at some point, just kind of be like, Ugh, yeah, this is kind of a, uh... I mean, any Celtic fans out there, you didn't feel like, dude, what the fuck that year in 2000? We were like in last place. And then Kevin McHale's in the front office of the Timberwolves and trades away Kevin Garnett for nothing. A former Celtic does that to the Timberwolves. Like, that should have been investigated the same way the uh, Pau Gasol trade when, what's-his-face, Jerry West was in the front office of the Grizzlies. 
Yeah, we'll give you Pau Gasol for his fucking brother, who's now good, but he wasn't back then. It's a horrible fucking trade. Um, those were bad enough, but I, I think this is the worst one ever. Like, this is, um, I'm still holding out. I have to root for the Cavaliers. I'm still rooting for the fact that they can somehow, uh, you know, obviously they got to win the next one. Most obvious fucking statement ever. But um, yeah, I got to tell you, from about halfway through the third quarter, when they started pulling away, and then the Cavaliers kept fighting back, and they and they just had it was it was ridiculous. It was like I don't know. I just walked out of there going like that felt like a fucking regular season game. I didn't feel like I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. How the fuck do you... Somebody explain to me what that... That's competition? Like, as a Warrior fan, you're going to look at that and just be like, yeah, man, that feels good. And you have to be honest with yourself, Warrior fans. Weren't you guys bitching at LeBron when he went to Miami and he won two down there, right? Weren't you saying that's fucking bullshit? It's a pylon team? Now, now if you were, you got to say that about your own fucking team. And I didn't hear that once. I just saw everybody fucking walking around thumping their chest like this was the greatest fucking thing ever. You know what else is funny, too? I really think is hilarious is um, when the little kids come out and they do their dance routines, that aggressive hip hop dancing. It's the funniest shit ever to me. Like what dancing has become. It's like you're literally sitting there like when a little kid danced when I was a kid. It was cute. It was adorable. Now you're just sitting there like this. Does this kid want to fight me? I think a six-year-old is squaring off with me. (laughs) This whole fucking new generation where everybody's just walking around like they're these gods. I don't know what the fuck that is about. These fucking Instagram douchebags who are trying to be inspirational people as they're showing off their fucking abs. Like, Like they're trying to help you by showing off their beauty and their own success and standing in front of private jets holding up a wad of cash. I just, I, for the fucking life of me, I can't understand why that behavior isn't ridiculed and why it's actually like aspired to. Go out and get yours. <laughs> so fucking, get what? A bunch of fucking shoes? I don't know. Oh God, I'm just a crabby old man. I have to tell you, um, If the Cleveland Cavaliers had somehow signed a giant free agent at the level of Kevin Durant, then I think this would be probably the greatest NBA Finals ever because it would be like two Hall of Fame fucking teams going at it with each other. Um, And then even if I, you know, I always hated that fucking... You know, I, I hate the super teams, as you can obviously tell. But at least if you have two of them going at it, then it becomes interesting. Like back in the day when the uh, roided up free agent Red Sox went up against the roided up free agent Yankees. I know it was bad for baseball. But at least there was, I don't know, there was another roided up free agency fucking team out there. This is just like, um, I don't know. I, I just don't understand how you play a team that has the talent that LeBron has and it's like fucking child's play because you got this other this fucking juggernaut you just signed in uh I don't know it was weird it was a weird feeling leaving there so I think I I fucking um <laughs> I don't know I think that was a little too long I probably talked about it too long but like I was so excited to go to the fucking game and then you just it would have been nice if one Warrior fan went like, yeah, you know, it's kind of bullshit, but, uh, you know, LeBron did it in Miami, so does that kind of make it okay? I mean, uh, hey, you know, that guy touched a kid, so why can't we touch a kid, right? Doesn't, isn't, that how it, isn't that how it works? Yeah, I, I was joking with Josh. I go, dude, that felt dirty. <laughs> <laughs> and then I also have to tell you, I absolutely fucking cannot stand the West Coast the West coast fucking, um, sports fan. I just cannot stand them. I did not hear one intelligent thing yelled during the game. I mean, their, their, their commentary is different reads of, Oh shit. 
And that's it. Nobody fucking seems to know what's going on. There was one guy behind me going, oh, I never seen the Cavs come out with this lineup. Oh, they're going big. There was a couple of people, but everybody else was just fucking mouth breathers. Just waiting for the ball to go through the net to be like, oh, shit. They don't want none of this. Um, sorry, didn't mean to fucking blow out your ears there. All right. Um, all right. I'm done fucking whining about that shit, but it is bullshit. It is. I actually heard this. Is what, this is a fucking West Coast sports fan. I went into the bathroom and somebody yelled out, two championships going on three. And somebody goes, two and a half. We got two and a half. Now, I don't know if he was saying like they should have got it called a championship last year or they're already racking this one up because they already fucking were going to win game two. I don't know. I don't fucking know. I have no, I have no idea. I hope that that's what that guy was saying. Um, do you think I shit on the whole fucking thing long enough? I really didn't think it was going to go that long. I'm already fucking 28 minutes in. All right, let's do a little bit of advertising here. Oh, by the way, uh, rest in peace, Blue Apron. Blue Apron decided not to uh, continue advertising with me because I said, um, you know, when they were, re- I was reading the copy, it says, you know, when you have fresh ingredients, food tastes better. And I was like, really? Fresh ingredients taste better? That's the reason they're claiming that they, they, they stopped um, wanting to advertise in the podcast. Not because six weeks ago, I read that story where they were, you know, going to farmer's markets, trying to box out the little man, you know. I know that's what it was. I know that they just were like, well, we can't do it now or he's going to bring that shit up, that filthy shit that we allegedly did up again. So we're just going to wait and we're going to wait for him to do one fucking read that we don't like and then we're going to be out. Come on, Blue Apron. How dumb do you think I am? Huh? Stop going down to farmer's markets allegedly. You know? What do you want, John Cougar Mellencamp to have to write another fucking song? Is that what the hell you're going after? All right, here's our, oh, here's our old friends. They don't give a shit how I read these. these. I like these guys. This is old Zip. Recruiter. 